What's up people, it's your camera boy Jonah and today I have the new iPhone 12 Pro Max. We're gonna do a little photo shoot with it. The sun just came up in this beautiful place here in Dubai. So I'm gonna do kind of a POV style photo shoot with the phone. There are many advantages to using a phone. For example, it's actually very easy for people who, for example, don't know how to use a camera. For example, if Natasha wants to take a picture of me. So that's why I really want to see what a phone nowadays can do. So I've got my little GoPro bra on. Time to strap you guys onto me so you can see what I see and take some photos and actually I would also recommend you to watch my videos in the style of like look at me as a friend and you're like hey man what do you think about that iPhone how are the pictures and I'm just a chill guy trying to be like hey I'm just gonna shoot some photos you can follow along and see for yourself now it's recording right yes okay <laughs> we're in the first spot where we're gonna take some pictures let me open the camera app uh, it's kind of cool here because you have this arch here uh, you have the color of the door so that's kind of beautiful a beautiful frame oh let's take some photos yes perfect natasha can you walk a little bit to me <laughs> sometimes it's good to take pictures in motions it will make it a little bit more natural uh, i don't really like this la lamp here so let's go a little bit back more to the door uh-huh it's more like uh, we are kind of closer you kind of see some more blur and depth to the image like this, it seems. Kind of curious to see how it will uh, perform. Can you be a little bit now really close? Uh-huh. This will be kind of good to see how the colors... Yeah, I like this pose. But yeah, stay like this. Okay, stay. At first sight, it looks pretty nice. One of the cool things already about shooting with a phone is you have such a bigger screen to actually see what you're shooting. So weird in some way that a phone is nicer to take a picture with because there's a bigger screen than a camera. Let me try out the 2.5 here and get like kind of like a portrait more of Natasha. Okay, stay like this Natasha. So yeah, now it's very close up. It's kind of only the face. It's kind of nice with the light, the golden light and the colors. And Natasha's nails have the same color as the wall, so kind of good if you showed it, I think, in the picture. Uh-huh, yes. Let's try out the white function. Uh, by the way, we came here for a very nice sunrise here in Dubai. I would recommend coming to this spot for sure. Uh, Natasha, can you again walk from there to me? And I will just snap some photos while you're walking. So this is kind of cool because you now have like these multiple frames of Natasha which will always make a picture kind of more interesting. Alright, can you walk Natasha? So yeah, walking is always kind of good to have some movement in the shot. Alright, stay on the first step. Let's uh, shoot one a little bit sideways to get some more, give some more depth in some way to the image because you have these different colors there in the background as well. Can you do a, a small step to the left Natasha? Yeah, this wide angle lens is very, very cool to get some unique angles and get a lot into the shot. All right, let's maybe capture something with, uh, with the sun in the background. Uh, wow, the colors are actually amazing here. Like those buildings, the blue of the buildings. Then you have the orange of the boat, which is like a nice contrast. All right, so this frame kind of looks amazing. That's always the thing to, with photos, looking actually for the background and then taking your uh, beautiful model here, my girl Natasha, and placing her in the scene where you want it to be. So Natasha, let's try with you being there. So we're on a wide angle lens and wow, the colors with the sunrise look pretty amazing with this orange boat in the background. I, with the iPhone and the wider lens, I, I always kind of like to get down a little bit to, um, make the model kind of look taller that most of the time looks good especially for females you gotta be careful though because uh, I'll, I'll screen record keep your model in the middle because if you go too much like this uh, things might get like a weird stretch for example now the legs are pretty weird or if i do like this yeah look at her head so keep the person really in the middle turn on the grid for example the three lines it's uh, also good for just your general composition but also kind of good to keep the model in the middle so that so she doesn't have a weird leg. Let me now go to the 1x 
photo function again. Yeah, this photo I like way more with a wide angle lens. But let's just uh, maybe try to get one where these poles frame her. So you have this kind of cool frame of the model. It's kind of nice actually. But let me take it maybe again at the 0 0.5 and go a bit closer then. So I can see the entire boat on the picture. And boom. Maybe a little bit of that uh, red. Let's take a 2.5x also, just to kind of see what that does again. All right, Natasha. Just uh, now look to me and keep your hands more on the top of your body now, because it's more close up of your face. And go back a little bit. <laughs> Because now I'm quite zoomed into you. Right, let's switch it up a little bit to see how the light hits the model. It's always a nice trick. Just kind of switch around and for example now, wow, you kind of have this sun set in the background. So let's shoot something like that. Natasha, can you maybe come here? So we will kind of have this as a leading line, let's say. Yeah, you have my bag there in the background. That's not so ideal. I'll take one like this. Or I'll take also one with the one X. Uh, yeah, uh huh. Little nice back lighting scenario will be cool to see how this renders out in the image and how you can edit it. All right, let's go to some other spots here um, and find some new location to shoot in Natasha. Small little video test, by the way, also. Yeah, this is actually how I look filming for you guys. Uh, this is now actually the front facing camera. So that's not really the best one probably. Uh, but this is already a quick first look also about the microphone. I'll make a separate video about the video quality of the phone right now. I'm just going to take some photos. But at first sight it also looks, it looks very sharp though. Like maybe I need to adjust some settings. Because now it's like extremely over sharp in my beard and everything. It's like super crisp. I'm not sure what I think of that. Uh, but in general, first looks, it looks pretty amazing. So that would be nice if this is a kind of an extra vlogging camera. For example, it's very easy to use for people who, <laughs> not saying that you're a bad photographer, Natasha, but just for people in general who are not used to working with a camera. Sometimes it's just better to use something like a phone because uh, it's just easy in use, no switching settings, etc. Just kind of looking for a frame and snapping the picture. 